Hello everyone, this is Brian with bsntech.com bringing you a, another video tutorial for website updates. In this video tutorial I am going to explain and show our customers how to manage and take care of their business listings or their business directory website. A few customers have had this function set up for them and we expect that there probably will be more in the future as well so I wanted to go ahead and create a video tutorial to explain how to do that. First of all you should have received a username and a password from us in order to log into the administrative portal of your website. If you have not received this certainly reach out to us and we'll be able to provide more information and get that to you. So you'll go ahead and log into the website first and then you will be greeted with the administrative portal here. So there are many different features and functions you can see but the one that we are primarily interested in is the business listings one. So in order to get there and update, delete, or change, or even create new listings you'll hover over components and then go down to Joom D and then you can choose any of these. Now of course I'm going to go ahead and choose categories first and then this will show you the categories that are set up on the website. This is where you can categorize each of your listings to make sure that they are in the proper place. You don't want to put all of the businesses in the main category because then it would make it harder for your users to find what they're looking for. So if you are doing just a standard business listings for a county or a city, you may want to break it down into plumbers, electricians, website designers, things like that. That way when somebody goes to your site they can see all the categories that are available and then quickly choose what category that they're looking for. Now in this specific customer's instance they have a business directory for customers that are in the beauty business um, such as salons and things like that. So I have set up this structure for them where they have the business directory and then they have different counties or locations th that they are going to be categorizing in. Now very quickly I'm going to just show you how to add or change some of these categories. You'll notice that there is a main category here and this is set up this way so that way if you want to have featured listings then you can show or display those featured listings right on the top of your business directory even before your categories appear. So that's why you'll see these little slides over here where it indicates that these are subcategories under this one. So if I click on this Providence County you will see that I can change the title and then there is a description that if you wish to type in that will appear with that category as well. Now of course it's not needed in this customers case but you certainly can do that and you can see it is published and for some reason with this component that we have chosen to select for our customers they have something called featured and I'm not exactly sure what this feature really does because we had to actually custom program a featured listings portion of this component uh, in order for the featured listings to show up properly but that's quickly how you can go in and edit it if you just need to change the name Here's the type. The type, of course, is going to be business directory, parent category, and then you can see that it is going to be a subcategory under business directory, so business directory is chosen, and here's the fields. Now, of course, there's also fields that we have to set up, which allows you to actually enter information about the businesses. So we have business name, business logo, and business information selected, which are the only three fields that we have set up for this individual. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. To set up a new category, you just click on Add, and this window comes up. You can type in the title. Again, the, the type is automatically selected as Business Directory. Parent Category, make sure you choose this one. Don't use Top, uh, because you can see all these are the subcategories underneath. And then if you wanted to put some text or some information in there, choose that. Now, Feature is automatically selected as No, but make sure you change that to Yes as well. Now I don't want to save this, so I'm just going to cancel out of it. And in the event that you want to delete one, just place a checkbox next to it and hit delete and that will get rid of it. Now let's quickly go over the fields. The fields are what allow you to go in and actually add information about each of your listings. So if you wanted to have business address, business phone number, 
uh, hours, all those things can be added on here. So for instance, of course, the business name, if I click on it, it's very simple. It's just a text field. It's called business name, and then that is what will allow you to type in the business name on their listing. Again, the type should be business directory, since that's the only directory we have. And here's the categories. If for some reason you don't want to show a business name in one of these categories, you can just uncheck it, and then the, the name or whatever field you are using here will not be used in that specific category. Down here is some more information. Do you want to make this required? Yes or no. Of course, if it's required, that means you have to type in a business name into this field. Include in category list view, yes or no. In this customer specific case, they only wanted to show the logo of the businesses on the actual category page. So that means I do not want to show the business name. So it's set to no. Same with the item list view. That needs to also be set to no as well. In the detail view, the detail view is actually the page where it shows all of the information about the business. So of course we want to make sure that's set to yes so that way the customers or the website visitors will be able to see the business name. Published, of course that needs to be yes as well. Um, access level, this is to allow you to to say, hey, I only want registered users to be able to see this, but of course by default it's set to public, which means any visitor of the public does not need a username or password to log into your website to see that. Okay, so that's quickly one of the fields. Let's go into the business logo and see how that one's different. Business logo, of course, again, the title is just business logo. It's under the business directory. All of our categories are selected. Field type, this is an image. There's all kinds of field types in here, and this is where you select generally what you're filling in. If it's going to be an address, if you want to make a checkbox, a date, uh, email address, if you want to be able to allow them to upload a file. Of course, we chose image here because you're using an image. Select list, text area, text field. You'll notice with the business name that we were just on, it used text field because it's just a box just like this up here where you'll just type in the business name. You can also allow a website URL um, amongst some other items. So of course this one is image, it is required, and you notice here how they're different. We have it set to yes for both of these for category list view and item list view because again this customer specifically wanted only the logo to display on those category pages and then of course we need to put it in detail view as well. How do you create new categories? Or excuse me, how do you create new fields? Just as easy. You click on add, this box comes up, you'll type in the title, select what categories. It's just much easier to hit check all if you're wanting to, them to be in, used in all the categories and then choose what kind of field or box you're going to be filling in and then these options down here. So fairly simple and straightforward. Alright, now let's get into the main thing here. In order to add listings to your business directory, just click on business directory. You will see here there are already a couple that I have set up. There's uh, RI Beauty Week, which is actually this website, a Studio B, and then I just put in BS and Tech Networks for showing how this can be done in a non-featured mode. Let's click on this RI Beauty Week one first, and you see here featured, yes, published, yes. Again, make sure those are both set to yes. The business name, you can put the business name in. Here is the logo. So there's the logo that's available and it's shown there. And then the business information, you can type in whatever business information that you'd like to appear on their page there. So again, this is this is a very straightforward, simple installation of the business directories where they only need three things to show up and that's it. If I close out of that, and let's go to BS and Tech Networks and I'll show you this one. Now notice here the category. This one I only selected this Newport County. So in general that means that this is not going to be listed on, as a featured listing on the website. If I check this business directory that means this listing will also appear as a featured listing at the top of the results. So for instance, let me come in here and show you how to do that or what it looks like. 
So participants is where the information is and here's the featured listings. These two are set separately. I'll go back and show you how to do this here just in a moment. And the BS and Tech Networks one, you can see it is not featured, so it is not in here. But we did put it under the Newport County category, so if we click on it, there's the logo. So it only appears under that category because it is not a featured listing. So again, that's kind of what this category is. I've only selected Newport County. I did not choose Business Directory. If I chose Business Directory, it would then appear on that front page as a featured listing. Now if we go back and look at the RI Beauty Week once again, if we look at the category, it says two selected, and that's because I've got it set as a featured listing, and it is also under the East Bay category. If I wanted to allow this person to be under all of the categories, I could just go in and select all of them, or I could choose specific ones as I've done here. So it's listed under East Bay and as the featured listing. So if I come back to the website here, Again, there's the featured listing, and if I click on East Bay, that's the category, you can also see that it's listed under the East Bay category as well. So very simple and straightforward to set these up. Just really quickly, I'll show you how to add one. You just click on Add. You do not need to put anything here in this alias. It'll actually automatically create itself. Select the categories. Let's just say East Bay and then it automatically populates what fields you can fill out and again make sure you set that to featured public that means anybody of the, of the public any visitor can see this business name testing business logo you just click that button add a business logo Let's add a picture of myself on there and then this is some test information about this business okay so if I come back up here, you'll see I put it under East Bay. Let's go ahead and change that just to Northern RI. And if you did notice, when you change a category, you actually have to come in here and input all this information again. That's kind of a flaw of this, uh, of this program that we use here. So test business, add business logo, add that in there. This is a test business. And that's it. Now we hit save. Okay, so it actually looks like it does not like the logo that I uploaded. Um, that's because this file extension is actually uppercase. So let me just choose this one. Um, I need to actually go in and fix that on this customer's website. So I will get that done and save. And then if we refresh the business directory, there it is, test business. If we come back in here, go back here, and then we put it in Northern RI and there it is so there's that logo test business there's the logo and this is a test business that is the text that I typed in that is generally how you will take care of your business directories the information that BS and Tech Networks can set up on your website if you have a need for that if you do have any other questions certainly reach out to us at bsntech.com thanks again for watching this is Brian with bsntech.com